Good afternoon. Nature features some of the most unique sensors with sensing abilities far beyond those developed by man today. In my work, inspired by nature, I develop micro and nano sensors with ultra high sensitivities and accuracies. The journey of my innovation that I'm going to talk to you today, from fishes to flow sensors, has started eight years ago when I took an inspiration from one of the most finest flow sensors present across the globe. These sensors are not man-made, but are present on the bodies of fishes that live in deep caves. Blind cave fishes have an uncanny ability to swim adeptly at high speeds without colliding any underwater obstacles, despite the fact that they have no eyes. They perform this unique feat by relying on arrays of sensors present on their body, called as neuromast. A neuromast is a naturally secreted polymer that extends from the skin of the fish into the external flow and senses the flow through a drag force-based sensing mechanism. During my research, I studied the functionality, the morphology, and the material properties of these sensors and translated them to something this small through nanotechnology and MEMS fabrication technologies. As you can see, the size of the sensor is just a tiny speck on the tip of a pencil nib. The sensors feature hair-like structures that extend into the flow and interact with the flow exactly in the same manner as in the case of the blind cave fishes. After developing the sensors, I looked into the market to identify an application where the sensors would fulfill a must-have need. And I found out that biomedical devices have a huge demand for sensors that can measure extremely low flows with ultra-high sensitivity while being capable of being disposable at, and are of low cost. Which biomedical device has the most number of FDA class 1 recalls? For those of us who are not from the clinical domain, Class 1 recall refers to sensor um, or devices that can cause a serious consequence or even death. And the answer, research shows that the answer is infusion pump over the last few years. Infusion pumps are a great blessing. No doubt they allow infusions to go into the human body at a regulated rate, which is extremely important. But mishandling of the infusion pumps, which can happen due to the calibration or the operational errors, can cause fatal injuries or serious consequences. So we thought to ourselves, can we use the sensors that we developed in order to measure the velocities in the infusion pumps? And if we do so, will we be the future of care and the new standard of care in intravenous infusions? In order to answer this, during my research, I developed uh, sensors and impl implemented them into 3D printed capsules that went in line with the in IV lines. The output of the sensor was fed back to an infusion pump to correct any errors live and any erron erroneous dosages were avoided. What makes us unique is that the sensors are small, sensitive, disposable, and scalable. In order to envision this dream, we formed Sensonomics in 2016, which envisions to create new standards of care in intravenous infusion. I'm Ajay Kottapalli, currently working as a principal research scientist at Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology. Thank you. Thank you.